my name is Chickenbot and welcome back to another video. So today I'm doing something pretty original that I don't think anyone else has done and it might help you guys like have some more fun with the game. We're going to be looking at the highest spots in each map. I, it just came to mind with me sometime uh, earlier today so I thought it would be fun to do. So first we're going to be looking at highway lot and I thought it was the billboard over there but no you can actually get up here. Also for all the spots, I'm going to be showing you how you get up there, just so you guys can know how to do it more easily. So this one's kind of tricky, but you have to get up here and then super jump onto this middle pole right here, but like I said, it's hard to do. Then you kind of just have to walk up and once you get to the top, then you've made it. Okay, you're actually able to walk on the side and get up, so that's probably the easier way. And this is also probably the hardest one out of all of them, but yep, this is the tallest part of Highway Lot. Okay, next we're going to be looking at Desert Storm, and for this one, it's not going to be like one of these oil rigs, or even this thing right here. If we look out farther at the border of the map, you see this oil rig thing. Now it's either one or the other, but you'll basically get the idea that these are the highest places you can get to on Desert Storm. And the way that you'll get up here is pretty simple. You just walk on this and then try to just hop along the side. And then you'll get up here and it's the highest point of the map. Now we're going to be looking at the crane site map though, which probably, you probably didn't see this one coming. It's actually the top of the crane, epic. In case you don't know how to get on the crane, there's this ladder. Uh, I think you should all know by now though. And for this part, you have to jump on one of these rails or don't. It just makes it a tiny bit easier. Uh, and then you just hop up here with a super jump and yeah, you're at the highest spot of the map Okay, now we're gonna be looking at Metro and this one I wouldn't say is like very fun because you can't get too high Originally, we thought you could get up here But you might be able to but it's incredibly hard and not even I could do it and I consider myself pretty decent at Phantom Forces parkour So this is gonna be the highest spot you can get to our knowledge. We don't think you can actually get up here but, you know, it's possible because we've gotten really close. Okay, this is the second of three maps that you'll see a crane as being the tallest place on. Uh, in case you don't know how to get on the crane, I'll just explain. There is a ladder right here. And we looked at it and we saw that the blue crane was a bit taller, but it may just be what we saw. They might be the exact same size, just like a copy and pasted crane, but different colors. Actually, I changed my mind. This feels a lot taller. Okay, now we're going to be looking at Bazaar Revamp. Sadly, I don't think Bazaar, the map, is accessible anymore. But just for a little bonus clip, there's bounce pads, which technically make you the highest you can get. So the bounce pads are just going to be our honorable mentions. But the real highest spot you can actually get in this map is if you just come up here, or you can just go the normal way, and you go up here. This is the highest place you can get because it's like the highest place without a border. You can't really go over there. It's kind of in the open, so there's really not much use to it. But yeah, that's the highest spot. Okay, for the map Rava 911, the highest spot you can get on this map is if you come up one of these two buildings. It works on either side. And you have to super jump on one of these areas. You used to be able to hop on the second and even third layer, I think, but they added barriers there, so you can't do it anymore. It's only restricted to the first layer. And these are basically replica buildings, so it doesn't really matter which one you go to. Okay, so for dunes, the highest spot for this, we even had to like, well, I did. I got a ruler on my computer, literally. And I measured that the silo was a tiny bit taller. So there's a couple ways you can get on top of the silo. It's very easy to do. You can either walk up here and get to the top. Or you can just walk up here from the sand. And yeah, right here is the highest spot. So yeah, that's the highest spot in dunes. So if you didn't know, there's one of those bounce pads in Castle Keep, and it's outside the map. I'm gonna go over to there right now. If you look right here and you go to this side of the map, it's just gonna be outside here. And then you'll see all these hay bales, and then a well over here. And if you hop in the well, then you guessed it, you get flung into the air and people like to trick shot from there. Now for the real highest spot in this map, if you go into this room right here, along like the side of the map, you can walk up this ladder 
And then if you stand up here, yeah, this is the highest spot in the map. You can see a good amount of the map actually from here, considering how compact it is. Okay, in the map, black site, this is gonna be another one of those where you have to walk outside the map for it. And then the outside, you see this slant in the wall, you can go up it. So if you just walk up to this highest part of the mountain, yeah, that's the highest spot in black site, so that's that. Okay, so for rig, a lot of you probably know that you can climb up here by walking along the sides. Actually, wait, they might have patched it, but I don't know. The point is, that's not the highest spot in the map. You can actually, well, I guess someone beat it to me, but you can get up there. And the way you do that is by coming into this building and you just have to walk up all the stairs. And then once you're up here, you have to super jump onto this. And this is the hardest part. It may require some practice. You have to jump up like that. And then you just crawl up all the way. So yeah, that's gonna be rig, the highest spot you can get in the map. So the next map we're gonna be looking at is jungle. And the highest spot in this map actually isn't that, uh, let's just say that fun of a spot. So I'm gonna show you one that's very similar and it's decently hard to get to and it's a fun spot. You can jump right here. And who knows, it actually might be taller than the other one, but I think the other one's taller by a little bit. You can get up here, I think it's a pretty fun place to camp if you just want to vibe or something. But technically, after we looked over it, right here is the highest spot in the map. You can't get anywhere higher, so yeah. Now we're going to be looking at Suburbia, and out of all the three maps, Bazaar, Castle Keep, and now Suburbia, this is the final map that will be having one of the bounce pads that you can use. So that's going to be the honorable mention for Suburbia. A lot of you already know that it's here, but in case you don't, if you go to the ghost spawn and you look at these graveyards right here, or gravestones, there's a hole right here. You get free limes if you jump in, so that's pretty epic. You jump up and yeah. And for the real highest spot in this map, if you come to the middle where Hill is, and you go up this like little tree fort over here, you're able to hop on this tree, and you used to be able to jump all the way up, but you can glitch yourself into this tree right now. If I can do it. Okay, yeah. You saw that for a second. You can just sit right there if you want, but here you can actually vibe and stuff. So now we're going to be looking at industry. And as you can see from over here, if you go to the ghost spawn, there's this giant building. You literally can't miss it. And if you walk up the stairs a little bit, there's going to be this scaffolding over here. You want to jump on this and then you're going to glitch into the next floor which there's a barrier here and you can't get past but this is going to be the highest spot you can get to on this okay i think this is our final map that we're going to be looking at that the crane is the highest spot on the map and as you can see since mall is a pretty tiny map it definitely towers over everything else so like usual you just climb the ladder you can't get on this side now or this part of the crane because there's a barrier but if you just walk over here, you can get on this top part. And that's about as high as you can get, I believe. So for farmlands, this is going to be one of the more fun ones. Where you can just get super high and see pretty much the whole map. On this big silo right here, there's a ladder on one of the sides. And if you get right here, this is going to be the highest spot on the map. Not even like extra places that you can't get to are higher than this. This is literally the highest and you can get a great view of the whole entire map. Okay, similarly to Bazaar, there's a revamped map for Blizzard and you can't access the normal map again. The highest spot for this map, I think it's gonna be right here. So yeah, this one's also pretty out in the open and you could kill easily from it, but it is the highest spot in the map and that's what we're doing in this video. Oh wait, actually you're able to hop up here, which is pretty interesting. I don't know if it's taller than that, but it's definitely a fun spot that you can reach. Okay, so if we go to the map Rust Belt, and we hop up here, and on this little roof right here, you can actually jump on this light. Please just let me super jump. And you'll glitch onto it, but this is still the highest possible spot you can get onto the map. There's actually one spot that could be a little bit higher. If you go up into the middle area, there's these stairs, and if you look right here, or wait, you don't even need to crouch, but this could be the highest, I'm not really sure. Both of them look very similar. Now in the map warehouse, a lot of you guys think that getting to that pole right there by going up this building is probably the highest spot in the map. 
And I have to say that that is very close. So if we hop up onto this pole and then we actually go like that, do a nice super jump, we can get onto the light. I didn't know this until today either. So I'm kind of showing you guys new stuff also. Okay, so in the map elevation, if you go to this side of the map, a lot of you can probably recognize it. And then you go into this back room over here and then you climb up this ramp and go over here. You're able to super jump onto this spot, which it is very tucked away, but it is the highest spot in the map, higher than a lot of the other spots. So yeah, that's that. Okay, so for the map ruins, if you have played Phantom Forces for like two years now, you probably remember that there was a little peephole that you could get through over here and you could walk across the whole top of the map. That was sadly removed around two years ago, like I said. And now there's a couple spots that are pretty high. This is just a fun one. I don't know if it's the highest, but you can sit in this tree in case you didn't know. It's just like a fun place to camp. But what I think is the actual highest spot, it's kind of tucked away also, just like the last one. But if you go up to this second floor area, you're able to sit right here. And I think this is the highest spot. So yeah, not too interesting, but the tree is a really fun spot that I like to go in sometimes. Okay, so for the map laboratory, if you find this room over here with the forklift, then you go over to this room with the tank and stuff. There should be a ladder right here. You just walk over into this room. And this is one of the few places with three stories on this map. And this room, if you walk up to this locker right here, it's not that exciting like some of these that you've seen, but it's the highest place in the map. And if you walk in here, there's this TV that you can actually jump on. And it's kind of tricky to do, but once you do get the super jump on it, this is going to be the highest spot in this map. So you're literally touching the roof of the third story. That should prove enough that that's the highest spot that you can get to. So yeah, that's every high spot that you can get to each map. The high spot in each map. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope I helped you guys out. Like I said, there's going to be a pinned comment with all the times for each map if you want to go back to them. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.